so Comic Cons in general, the the fucking crowds. I've never attended. Okay. And so so Salt Lake City is like, and I know like San Diego has gotten to the point where it's not even uh, considered like one of the cons that like people work. Like like you don't go there. To, it's it's more of a it's more of an event. You know, like mm-hmm. Marvel fucking throws out like their shit, and there's a red. Car. I mean, it's like, it's, it's not like a Comic Con. And uh, I mean, it is, but I mean, it's like, you know, like Salt Lake City. Um, How many people do you think passed through? You did what, three to four days? I did uh, no, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday because they don't do anything on Sunday because they're of the Mormon population. Oh, that's right. Okay. Yeah, so, so Saturday was the, and um, so Friday, SmackDown was there. So killed my fucking, killed my fucking, I got a little bit of a, a good, I got a good push like halfway through Friday and then fucking six o'clock uh, SmackDown was starting. So about three o'clock, man, it was no man. It was, it started to get, you know, the NWO shirts were not in uh, <laughs> in high number at that point. So, uh, but they might've been selling over at the arena for SmackDown, which you'll uh, get your check for now. Absolutely. Thank you so much, WWE. So, all right. So, how many people do you think passed through? Did you? Did you get, I know you get for a, a fact. I know for a fact that Saturday, um, it was a hundred and twenty thousand plus at fifty ahead, right, and I'm talking about there were around. six over six mil. Right. Hundred twenty. So was it six six two times fifty ahead? That would be six even if they paid if they paid fifty even. Yeah, I don't even know what it is. I'm is, just saying 50. Six is six mil. So six six mil and gate, and then you've probably got. I don't know how many vendors at what price, but I'd say it it, it was it was it looked like when they used to bring the auto show. Well, they still do. When they had, but I used to, when I was a kid, I would go to the auto show in Detroit. Yeah, like they would use the whole Cobo Hall Convention Center, and you it was like. As a little kid, I'm sure, it, you know, seven, eight years old, it, it, it seemed like, you know, but it was still, you know, pretty, it was a lot of, it was, there were, put it this way, I left on Saturday from my booth, and I was like towards the end by the green room, uh, and they came, and they came, be, they, they've set up the piping, so they, they come behind you, and like, so behind the piping, you've got, uh, golf carts that are racing you around from from you know from from side to side and here and there, and uh, it, it, you know you get your pro photo ops. Um, you know you've got all these different things that you're doing, and um, so they came and got me at I think my panel was at f- five. Mm-hmm. And they came and got me at twenty to five. At twenty to five, I'm like, and I was, I was busy. And I'm like, fuck, man, you're killing me. He says, the guy looked at me, he goes, sir, he says, I've been doing this all day. He says, and, and so we take off, we go all the way down, shoot by the fucking Brady Bunch crew sitting there signing autographs. Go across, look go over Sons of Anarchy. What's up, guys? Shoot down, go across a bunch of vendors, take a left, go into another room, take a left, go outside into the loading dock and go around the building. Come back in through these uh, accordion doors and now we're, we're, there's an escalator going up, there's like... And there's another, it's, I had never seen this part of the con because it's in a completely, it's, it, it would have been probably a, a 25 minute walk if I would have power walked from my booth to this place. Because we're at times coming to a standstill as they're going, electric cart, electric cart. And I'm like, and it's not like, I mean, it's like Night of the Living Dead. How long did it take you? 15 fucking minutes. In the cart? In the cart. 
and then I got to go up the escalator, and then I got to go through people to get to the to the panel room. And I was like, whoa. And I just, I just, it, it's just the enormity of it. Yeah. Like, and 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 people are spending money, man. So the they're so the vendor tables too. So I mean, it's got to be over a hundred bucks, right, for a table? Oh fuck, man! It's I. I'd be surprised if it wasn't thirty five hundred to five k for the weekend. Holy! For fuck. a large for a large spot. And then, and there's hundreds because, of these tables, right? Yeah, because you've got probably probably like there was such a like my I never saw this the same people. Like nobody came by and said like the next day, hey, hey Nash, how's it going? Like when it, when shit gets slow towards the end, like I, I was here yesterday, or a guy like double back and and, and get two or three things done because one of his buddy that's not in the Salt Lake area says, oh you know, mm-hmm. you know get get you know get some figures you know and I'll and I'll, I'll pay you so they come back. This is for my buddy. So, but uh, I mean there had to have been. Three hundred thousand. I mean, I say two. I'm gonna say two hundred and twenty thousand different people that came in that 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 place. Mm. Unbelievable. So you structure. could get a three day pass. It was the Salt Lake, uh, the, the Salt Palace Convention. It, it's like the Great Salt Lake Palace Convention Center, or something mm-hmm. like that. The I don't know structure. What the, so they. I, they I don't charge. know what. The, I don't know what the fuck. Can, we, it, it's uh. Let's see here, so like, okay, um, this is this is from Steve. It's, it's got 127,000 attendants in 2015. Um, Steve, is there any way that, because I'm sure they have it at the same place, is there any way you can find out what the square footage of that fucking convention center is? Yeah. Because they use fucking all of it. Right. Now, they make their money off the off the gate and the vendor tables. They don't have. Do they have a piece of the talent? Uh, no, no. They actually they, they pay they pay us uh, four hundred dollar per diem for the for the show, and they they pay for our hotel and they and they pay for me first class first class air. So I'm out of pocket zero to get there and have enough to basically you know, feed myself. Right. If I'm you know. And the talents seven uh, seven hundred seven hundred thousand square, square feet. feet. Yeah, that's a that's what's the what's Jerry's fuck? What's the Cowboy fucking stadium? What's that square footage? AT and uh, T. Yeah. So you get so the talent keeps their their take and they make their money on the gate, the vendor tables. And you, but you cut you know, advertising like, probably. Every, too. Everybody gets brought in by somebody, so you're you know you're, you're paying a cut to somebody that brings you in because they hook it up, and then you you always have a handler. Um, three million square feet is a cowboy stadium. So it's like a quarter, almost right. Yeah, a quarter but, but think, of the if you've ever, I remember that, the the WrestleMania they had there. Oh mm-hmm. my God. I mean, it was just like, fuck it. I'll eat a space food stick before I have to walk to catering. Right. <laughs> Fucking hell. The, uh, okay, so the, the comic, you know, I was surprised to see that Comic-Con actually launched in 1970. Do you know that? In San Diego. And it was actually, and I, I guess it still is, the actual Comic-Con is a nonprofit. To California Nonprofit Public Benefit Corporation for the furtherment of animated art. If I had glasses on right now, I'd be looking over the top of my head. <laughs> not saying that the executive panel does not take a, a healthy salary. Yeah. Which is fine for a, you know, a, a, a like nonprofit. More, more, people more, have to be paid. More skimming going on than a fucking Jersey fucking dairy. The um, the organization of the actual venue. Now you talked about the uh, oh the the, cu- the, the cart the, shuttling you around. Right. So you're in like one spot. You have a table. Someone brings you in. You get a table. You're signing. You're doing pictures. You have like probably posters of yourself or whatever. Ban- everybody has a banner that they, that the Salt Lake, um, and and I was so fucking pissed because. The somebody belt. the belt yeah somebody fucking put a picture of me from 97 
uh, holding a, holding a, a world title belt or whatever the fuck I have, and they made it the AEW belt. Right. And then they put so somebody had to fucking because it doesn't exist. I've never been in AEW, let alone the champion. And um, I just said like. My tweet was like something like fucking. Even in Salt Lake City, there's a there's fucking assholes. So someone you know? photoshopped the AEW Photosh- belt. And, and put it behind me, and I, I turned it and I'm like, I'm like, like who's like? I'm not gonna really pay attention to that, except fucking some guy in front of me goes, "Were you an AEW?" I'm like, "No." He goes, "Why do you have an AEW belt?" I turn around, I'm like, "Ah, oh, motherfuckers." <laughs> You know? I was going to say, I'm surprised you even noticed it, but someone pointed no, it out. No, somebody pointed out, because I, 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 as long as my name's spelled right, and my picture's the fucking one I told them to use, well, that, they, that, that fills half the, that fills half, yeah, they, I guess they, you know. They're fans. They sent oh. me first class tickets, so I, you know, I didn't have to tell them that. Who was the coolest uh, celebrity hang 